overall, just a nice win. Uh, I told the players that it was nice to have six players in double figures. Uh, I thought we maintained the consistency in our offensive looks that we got, you know, shooting 46%. I thought we moved the ball around really well. But more importantly, I thought we did a good job of attacking Kane Beige in the half court. Um, she's a phenomenal player offensively, and one of the ways you can get some of that back is make her uncomfortable by attacking her, you know, forcing seven turnovers, getting her away from the basket. So just really pleased with uh, the effort, and obviously nice to come away with the win. Cam Beige obviously had the lion's share of the points, but was the game plan to maybe gum up that middle and create chaos around her and everybody else in the paint? Well, you know, you don't want to give any player 37. I mean, she earned them. Uh, the key was to not let anyone else become extremely relevant, you know, staying locked in, not getting frustrated, not having those lapses uh, defensively and offensively ourselves. Uh, you know, we battled. Uh, and, and she got hers, but fortunately for us, we didn't let anyone else uh, become extremely relevant. Well, there in the second half, whenever they closed it to win, in four, you guys either hit a big shot or get the lead back out there. Was that just really good composure from you guys? It was, um, and I think it was because we started the game that way. You know, so it's a feel, it's a rhythm. We knew about eight or nine sets we can get some good looks, and we just kept going back to those. Uh, and so I credit the players. You know, it helps when Cappy Pondexter starts the game six for six. So she's feeling it. And then that fuels others in that regard. So I think uh, all of that helped. So with Cappy hitting the first eight points of the game, was that kind of what you envisioned when you kind of went to that veteran starting lineup, kind of those quicker starts like that? Y you know, I, I, I want to sound like a genius and say yes. <laughs> no, for her not missing a shot. You just envision someone that likes those moments, not afraid of it. And the key is having the ball in her hands to make the decision. It's not always a shot, you know. Sometimes it's to swing it, you know, sometimes it's to get, to get the offense. But, yeah, you just envision someone who has courage and the character to uh, get you through those moments. Tonight kind of felt like Victoria was all over the floor, maybe defensively, creating deflections, having her hand pretty much in anything. Is that one of the ways that you feel like she's expanded her game from the start of the season? Man, I'm so glad you asked about that because, I mean, she's uh, you know, has a beautiful shot. She can score it, and that's the area. And I can remember the game, the first Atlanta game, when I had to put her against Angel McCautry. It's been a, a nice rise in her confidence there because no one's ever challenged her there, you know. And, and, and I mean it in the regard that, you know, when you're in college, you have to be careful. You have to stay in the game. And she's risen to the challenge because, you know, she, she has that um, – demeanor about her. She has that uh, toughness about her. But yeah, she's definitely become someone that we trust on the defensive end. So after giving up 25 in the first quarter, your team really clamped down in that second quarter, only allowed 14. That was kind of the difference in the game. What did you see from your team defensively in that quarter that kind of led to that? Big you, you know, I could be wrong, but I think I went in the huddle and I put Dallas 25, Liz Kane Beige 19. And like, that's the ball game. Um, and, and, and then the rebounds in that regard. And they just responded. You know, I mean, she averaged 20 against us. And someone asked me earlier, well, you guys done a really good job on Kane Beige. I'm like, don't put that in the universe, you know. Uh, but the point is they knew and they responded. And we had some really good possession where, I mean, we forced 21 turnovers for 29 points. She's a good player. They're going to go to her. And we just kept taking up space, taking up space. And that was the difference. Do you feel like you controlled the pace tonight and kind of played more into your game than their game? I really like the pace. I think so. I do because even when, you know, it was a made basket, I thought we were able to uh, get some pace and get into the front court uh, within five to six seconds. And that's a really big deal for us to advance the ball. So, yeah.